Hey, Bubba Trades! I went to do a video analysis update of uh, AMD, NVIDIA, and uh, Adobe, as well as Apple. And as always, uh, this technical analysis is going to relate to investments that I currently make and actively make in a real uh, brokerage account. So those uh, ETFs are going to be AMDY, running the Out of the Money Synthetic Covered Call on AMD, uh, FEPI, uh, holding a basket of stocks, including uh, AMD, Adobe, Apple, and NVIDIA, and selling out of the money uh, calls on those. Um, and from a correlation standpoint, I am buying YMAG, uh, which is holding all of the Magnificent 7 uh, tech stocks, and selling out of the money synthetic covered calls on those. And I am holding uh, NVDY, which I've held for quite a long time, so much to the point where it is entirely paid for itself um, in dividends. So every dividend that I get, including the one I got yesterday uh, from NVDY, is on the house. But before I get into uh, AMD's future, let's talk about AMD's past. Uh, November 9th of 2022, Advanced Micro Devices gives a view of risk in the semis. AMD formed a large wave one from the 2015 low that subdivided into five waves and is ending wave two with an ABC correction where wave C equals the length of wave A at the 61.8% fib. If AMD is above 36.46, a wave three past 164 can occur. Uh, bang! But I wasn't done there. Uh, I came and updated it. And on August 30th of 2023, I said looking for advanced micro devices to take the next leg higher towards plus 149 if it's above 92.11, uh, bang. So we'll get into AMD's TA uh, in the ultimate long term. Let's get back to that original count. One, two, three, four, five. Let's look at this monthly RSI. One, two, wave three, highest high. Wave four, wave five ends with Momo, large wave one. ABC correction between the 61.8 to 78.6% retracement, as I said, and bang, plus 164. And then from this low, the weekly, um, one, two, three, four, five. And let's look at the subdivision. One, two, wave three, wave four. It's hard to see. Wave five makes a higher high, but it ends with Momo and ABC correction. But then this is what's really uh, distinguishing the count right here. Um, from this ultimate cycle low uh, that I predicted in um, October of 2022, large wave one, large wave two, wave three makes the highest high on the weekly RSI. And now we're having a wave four. It retested the wave one, the wave one high. It didn't break it. Uh, 132.83 is the wave one high. The LA wave principle is that wave four retest. It doesn't break uh, the wave one high. Wave five makes a higher high. Sometimes it does breach. Uh, preferably, it makes a wick on whatever candle and then uh, makes a new high for wave five. So wave four retest the wave one high. But look at this RSI. One, two, wave three. Highest high, shallow wave four, and a wave five. Hopefully, that ends with Momo, but it doesn't matter if it ends with Momo in relative strength because the price suggests that wave five is going to make a new high above this wave three high regardless, and that's quite a distance. So, I took the length of wave A, placed it the wave B high for wave C. That gives a Fibonacci retracement, though, of 100 to 122 of the 100 to 122 sorry that gives a fibonacci extension zone sorry that's why i couldn't say it right it's not the retracement zone it's the extension zone it's the extension of the length of wave a placed with wave b high being where wave c ends so we hit the 100 percent extension which was 50.23 so 138.46 is a little tighter than the wave one high of 132 so 138.46 to that low of 141.46 is going to invalidate, and I'm going to expect uh, for the benefit of FEPI and for the benefit of AMDY in the corollary analysis of YMAG and NVDY that AMD is going to go one, two, three, four, five waves up, um, go at least above 227.34 uh, wave five bare minimum for uh nvidia i've smoked this but just a very quick 
corollary analysis one two three four five smoke 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 and abc correction wave two smoke 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 and um this smoke 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 and now from this low it appears wave one wave two am i a gambling buffoon no there's actually a little bit of ta behind this one two a large wave three so i came out at this abc correction um that very quickly just to summarize was right at the extension of wave a placed the wave behind 161.8 percent extension that's when i came out on that 10 percent day first time i had talked about nv in a quick minute since here and since here and i said i'm looking for another high towards 1100 that's why i've kept holding nvdy and that's why i'm going to keep collecting NV uh, dividends from uh, nvdy so that's a little bit of corollary analysis and speaking of corollary analysis i've invested in ymag i invested a good amount of money in ymag but i didn't invest any outside money at all i actually built a pretty good position in ymag just in the past uh, and ymax holding um all of the yield max, fun yield max funds um why mag is the fund of funds that just holds the tech magnificent seven um so for apple i talked about recently this is an abc correction from this low one two wave three highest high for wave three a shallow wave four and a wave five that ends with momentum divergence and abc correction and then wave a wave b wave c um that gave the 161 uh point the 50 percent retracement was 161.90 and now the long-term invalidation is 164.07. Um, and I believe that this is wave one. This is an ABC wave two. And so uh, I expected that, that Apple was going to benefit from what I called a quad witching rotation uh, for the second quarter. So far, that's played out. And I believe that Apple can ultimately head uh, towards this um, high of 239. I know that's a quick recap on a very, very, very important stock. The reason that I talked about it is because it's in Fepi. Um, it's also it's also in YMAG, and it's obviously a big holding of iSpy, which I own, and what I'm what I've decided I'm going to buy uh, XDTE, um, which is a different uh, ETF. It um, collects weekly dividends um, by owning a deep in the money call option on the S&P 500 and then selling a zero DTE 1% out of the money um, call option against uh, that deep in the money call option that expires a few weeks later. So uh, anyway, that is why I wanted to, to touch on Apple. Let's just recap real quick just to make it clear. Important stock wave A, ABC, connector wave B, and wave C. From this low. Wave one, wave two, wave three makes the highest high on the weekly RSI. Shallow wave four, wave five ends with momentum divergence. An ABC correction uh, ensued that ended, ended between the length of wave A placed the wave at the wave B high, 161.8% uh, extension. I also used um, the Fibonacci retracements of wave one. And the 50% retracement of 161.90 was the ultimate invalidation uh, it did hold. So uh, we began at wave three. This is a large wave one. This is a large wave two. Above 164.07, above uh, we did begin a large wave three uh, towards 239. So that's why I believe FEPI, I believe, you know, with the TA with um, AMD, and uh, with YMAG that um, I've invested in those ETFs and I believe they're going to collect uh, rising out of the money synthetic covered call dividend, dividend yields. So the last stock is Adobe. Yes, I did predict uh, Adobe uh, quite well. So here I used a little bit of follow the leader analysis. I said any chance Oracle is a leading indicator for software ETF IGB or Adobe, which had similar drawdowns in 2022, never mind that Microsoft could sneeze 
and hit an all-time high. From an Elliott Wave perspective, it is a bad sign for shorts calling for a Wave C lower. So uh, we did see um, we did see Adobe and we did see IGV uh, go get very close to an I to an all-time high. As far as IGV goes, I clarified that ETF specifically. Look at that one like one retweet, but bang, North American Software uh, Tech ETF IGV. Has interesting RR above 221 beyond the wave one high of 448 and there was the top holdings Adobe Microsoft Salesforce and Oracle were mentioned and IGV has since made an all-time high so we're gonna look at Adobe real quick get into uh, the skinny of it and then call it a day I believe from this high this is wave a This is wave B, and this is wave C. From this low, this is wave one, this is wave two, this is wave, this is wave three. Look at this RSI on the weekly, highest high for wave three. Shallow wave four. And a wave five that ends with momentum divergence. We can even see with this wave five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Very pretty. Large wave one slash wave A. Large wave two slash wave B. A, B, C, correction, measuring, a, B, C. This high is 585.35. This high is 638.25. And this low is 528.01. So we end. Um, we end between the 100 to 127.2% uh, extension of the length of wave A. Placed at the wave B high. And so I expect Adobe will hold, hold above 460.38. to the 127.2% extension of 445.12% uh, for 445.12 for, uh, and that Adobe will begin a wave 3 higher or a wave C higher that's at least the length of wave 1 Place at the wave too low, supporting Thepi all the way up until Adobe 
it's the 800s in the long term.